What's up, everybody? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <laughs> it's your boy. I'm here to talk to you guys about uh, Kate Michelle's My Life. This is uh, Season 2, Episode 1. Before I get started, I think you guys already know. Yes, like, as if you guys haven't seen my last couple of videos, I am now a Scentsy man. I am a Scentsy consultant. So if you guys want to, you know, get out those uh, wax burners, diffusers, or even some smell goods, laundry stuff, please please go check out my Scentsy. i am actually hosting a party right now like i said make sure you guys check out some of the sale items and <clears throat> until this upcoming sunday sunday is the last day of the uh bring back my bar so like i said if you guys have not go ahead check that out and support your boy why don't you with that being said let's go ahead and get straight into this so a lot of stuff happened in 30 minutes and it's probably going to be a short season like they did last time. It might even be more, but she moved to L.A. to focus on a new sound. All right. She mentions Jonathan had a bad breakup, so she didn't brought him along. She's in a brand new house. Um, she says Bobby fucked up a good thing, and now he wants her back. Talk about that in a second. <clears throat> She's on the fence uh, when it comes to Bobby, but says if she, if he, I'm sorry, if he changes, she'll jump back in. Now, all that I will say to that is I don't agree with that. You broke up for a reason. And if it's because he fucked up, then what you need to do is if you if you feel that he can come back, make him work like make him work at it. Don't make the shit easy. You hear what I'm saying? And I'm not saying sitting here and put stipulations on anybody, but what I am saying is, and this is for any man or any woman, if it's worth it to that person, okay, uh Monica, you know, hey, she said for you I will okay that's all I'm saying so if he if he if he wants you for you he will that's all I'm gonna say if y'all ain't never heard that song by Monica for you I will check the shit out okay because y'all 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 slacking she wants to do music that feels like her right now and so pretty much her whole thing is she just doesn't want to be boxed in you know if she decides that right now she want to do a motherfucking country album, she wants to do that she doesn't want to be boxed in by anyone to include her label and she pretty much said that if they do that to her she will fucking retire and k michelle is a little crazy so she might actually do it um john then goes and gets his ass waxed and then actually gets the number from the receptionist to go on a date so i guess he can get his ass waxed um she meets with her life coach, uh, Tony Gaskins, and pretty much talks him about everything. And then we realize that, you know, she was pregnant. Um, he wasn't there. He was distant. He did not come see about her or none of that. And in the process, she finds out that not only did he have a child, but he lied to her. And he actually has four children by four different women. And she was like, how can you deny your own child? I'm just like, come on, come on now. Through Mary J. Blige said it's your child. Come, come on now, come on now. But, you know, she says to him that, you know, she wants a white man, this, that, and the third. Hey, she wants to broaden her horizons. And, you know, her ass got brought into it. Could this be the reason that she got uh, an ass reduction? Hmm. Um, and let me see. She even said, although she's not a supporter of abortions, she had to get one you know she felt that given the state and the situation and again i am pro-choice you do what you do with your body you feel what i'm saying and if she felt that given the situation that she's in that she didn't want to bring a child into that i'm here for it and better yet fuck it let's talk about it down in the comment section are you pro-life and are you pro-choice and why if you want to quote the Bible, by all means, go ahead. But let's keep it, you know, cute. Let's keep it, you know, um, how can I say? Let's talk, but let's not attack each other, okay? It's all about love over here, okay? I like I said, it's all about love. That's what we do over here. Oh, uh, what else I got? So she's she's in a studio with Dallas producer and uh, her A&R. And, you know, she pretty much says that she wants to do her. She wants to do something new. Dallas' whole thing is let's meet in the middle because he doesn't want to put his reputation on the line. And my whole thing is this, bruh, you a producer regardless of what the fuck you do, bruh, you going to get paid. I mean, somebody might side eye you just like, I can't believe you came out with that shit. But if they know that you got that fire, they're going to work with you. And I do understand that if producers produce some not hot shit that's gonna make people not want to work with you but uh, again when money talk bullshit walking if they know that you can give them a hit regardless of whatever flop you might have had they're gonna come work with you 
and she meets with Bobby and they get into it about the abortion. But I'm going to stop there only because there's more to this. And of course, that's where they stopped it at. So we'll pick it back up next week. Oh my gosh, no. Stop talking. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh shit. 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 Okay. Hopefully, I hopefully this video don't get flat because of that. Cause I, yeah, that should have been a video. Anyway, that is all that I have, you guys. Like I said, I had like I said, I had the leak. I wasn't able to do the video early. Like I said, y'all know a motherfucker words, but y'all got the video. So rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see all of you on the very next video. Again, rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And uh, don't decline, Sensi. I'll let your boy help your boy out. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.